Hi everyone, I'm Alexandra Martinez. I'm a developer advocate here at MuleSoft, and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to install AnyPoint Flex Gateway in connected mode in a Docker container image. Let's get started. Let's start by creating a new free trial account to get started from scratch. You can go to anypoint.mulesoft.com and then go here and click on sign up if you don't already have an account. Once you create your account, you will be asked to enable multi-factor authentication. This is not required for now because we are just doing a trial tutorial, but you can do that if you feel safer. Now go to this menu right here, click on it and select Runtime Manager. This is what we are going to be using to create our first instance or to connect our first instance of any point of flex gateway. If this is your first time joining, it will ask you to select an environment. You can just select Sandbox and continue. Now on the left side of the screen, select Flex Gateways. This will open a new tab and you have no gateways right now, so you can just click on Add Gateway. Here you will see all of the different instructions that you can select to install a new Flex Gateway. You can select Linux, Docker or Kubernetes. In this case, we are going to select Docker and we can just continue with these instructions right here. The first thing to do is to download and install the Flex Gateway container image. One thing to notice is that once you create your free trial account, you should instantly have all of the permissions or all of the accesses to get into Flex Gateway. But in case you don't, it's important to notice that there are some permission requirements. Now let's copy the first command that we have here. This is going to be using version 1.0.0, but we are going to change it to the latest tag so we can always have the latest version. Another important thing to notice is that you should have Docker installed before starting this tutorial because you will need it. You can install Docker desktop directly and have this nice UI so it is easier to navigate between the images and the containers, or you can also just install the command line version. I created my own Flex Gateway folder here because we are going to be using some of the files. So it's better if you have a known location or just a, an empty folder where you can keep all of your files and you don't lose them that easily. And as you saw, I have no previous images. I don't have anything currently running in my Docker and I can also verify by running Docker images. Now let's install the Flex Gateway Docker image. And as I said, let's use the latest tag instead of uh, 100. Now we have our Docker image installed in our computer. We can verify with Docker images once more and we will see the Mulesoft Flex Gateway image with the tag latest or the version that you decided to install. You can also verify in Docker desktop by checking um, the images tab and you will see here the new Mulesoft Flex Gateway with the tag latest. Now let's go back to Runtime Manager. Our second command to run is to register the Flex Gateway to any point platform. So you can just copy this command. The first thing to notice is that this command is using the version 1.0.0. So if you just want to use the image that you just downloaded with the latest tag or with, with whichever version you want, you can just remove that version and leave it as Mulesoft Flex Gateway. This will be good enough for Docker to know which image it's supposed to take. The second thing is that you have to change the gateway name. In our case, let's put my gateway. Then you will notice that the token and the organization are already there. This is um, the token that is given to you by Runtime Manager, and this is the organization from your AnyPoint platform account. And before running, I can verify Docker container ls. I have no container running, and I can also check my Docker desktop, and I have no containers running. Now let's run the command. After you see the registration completed line, then you know that this worked. In Docker Desktop, you might see there is a container, but it's already stopped. So you can just remove it if you prefer. If you go back to Runtime Manager and you check the Flex Gateway list, you will see your new My Gateway being listed here, but with the status of disconnected. This just means that it was registered, but there are no replicas running right now. So we need to start now a replica. Click on Add Gateway again to go back to the instructions. We can copy the third command 
Then same as before, this is going to be running in version 1.0.0. You can leave it like that, or you can just remove the version to use the image or the container that you already had installed. Now let's copy this command and run it. There you go. One thing to notice is that this command will not stop running if you run it just like that because um, this is just the Docker container that is currently running. If you stop it, you will stop the Docker container or the Flex Gateway image that is running. You can also verify by going to Docker Desktop and seeing that there's a new container running. Or you can also open a new tab and run Docker Container LS. This will list the new Docker container that you are running right now. The image is Mulesoft Flex Gateway and it will give you a random name generated by Docker. If you want to run this command in a detached mode, that means without leaving the command line open, you can add a new parameter here, dash D, and this will be good enough to create in detached mode. So now if you go back to Runtime Manager and go back to the Flex Gateway list, you will now see that you have one replica in your Flex Gateway image and your status will be connected. Now let's see how to add a new replica. Let's copy this command. And the only thing that we need to change is that here we were running the port 8081. So now here, let's change this to be port 8082. Let's also add the detach parameter so you can see how this looks like. Now let's copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Now we only received the ID of the Docker container that is running instead of looking at the whole thing from the previous one. And we can still use this command line. So if we run Docker container less, we will now see that we have two images. And as you can see, this is the ID of the second replica that we created. The name will also be a random name generated by Docker. And you can also see it in the containers in Docker desktop. So now if we go back to the list of flex gateways, we will see that now it says two replicas. Status is still connected. And if we click on it, we will see the two different replicas that we added. Now to remove the replicas, you can just go here in Docker desktop and click on stop. And this will stop the replica right away. Or if you had it running like this, where we have the process running, you can just stop that process and that will stop that replica. If you go back to Docker desktop, you will see that the replica disappears. Or if you run Docker container LS, you will see that the other replica disappeared as well. And if you go back to Runtime Manager, this replica now appears as disconnected. Now for the other replica that we run in detach mode, like this one, we can do two different things. We can run docker container stop from the command line or we can click on the docker desktop and click on stop. Let's run the command just to see how it looks like. So docker container stop and then the random name that docker gave to my container. And as you can see, it will just give me back the name and there are no longer container running. So you can also verify with docker container ls. There are no containers. And if you go back to Runtime Manager, you will see that the status is disconnected for, for both replicas, which means that this gateway now says that it's disconnected because there are no replicas running. To completely remove a replica from the UI, you just have to go to this button and select Delete Gateway. After you read this warning, you can just select Delete. Now your gateways will appear with a status of Deleted, it will remain like this for 30 days and then it will be completely removed from the UI. And that's it for this tutorial. Congratulations, you now created your very first AnyPoint Flex Gateway replica or Docker container image, however you want to look at it, in connected mode. Remember that there are two different modes. There is connected mode and that is local mode. Um, for this tutorial, we just saw the connected mode. So now go to the next tutorial to learn how to use this Docker container or this AnyPoint Flex Gateway from API Manager to add your own policies. Thank you.